What up everybody, Bohan back with another quick video. Today I'm gonna to be looking, well, again, not a quick video, but today I'm gonna to be looking at uh, something I've been wanting to work on for a while. These are 30 Minutes Missions kits, model kits. If you're not sure what 30 Minutes Missions is, um, it's a series from Bandai that basically works like a Gundam or a Gunpla model kit where you snap them apart and you reassemble them, no, no glue required. They're usually molded in different colors. Um, so paint is optional, stickers, all that stuff is optional. And they typically look pretty good, even just built without uh, adding paint or anything. So they're a great, great hobby or toy line for maybe a kid. They're basically meant to be built in less than 30 minutes or less, or around 30 minutes, depending on the skill level of the person doing it. Basically, there's two different factions in the game. I'm forgetting the name of them right now off the top of my head. And in those two factions, there's basically two type of base uh, suit of armor, I guess. Um, and in those two uh, types for each faction, there's all these different subtypes. For example, this is a basic one, an Alto. This is funny enough called the Rabiot. Then you have the Portanova. Here's a Portanova, which I got was the Marine type because I, I couldn't resist that one. And then you have the Seal, Seal, Seal Nova. With modern normal Gunplas, you have the ability to customize and to swap. Um, for example, I have some stuff kits here that are made up of three or four different kits. But with this, the whole design process here is to design kits that are meant to be able to swap and and everything and it's a very simple process the idea is going to be that you're going to be able to use different packs and stuff and customize these guys combining them together these are like booster packs there's like a tank and then i got like an attack summary they just look so cool and they're very inexpensive i think these were 10 bucks then they sell these really as you can see they're only six bucks for these really cool little customize effects and then I got three of these for some reason, but mainly because I like the arm. That gives you an idea. There are some different robot uh, look looks there, so you could build like a construction bot or something. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna build all these over the rest of the week, and I'll put this video up probably at the end of the week, showing them uh, built and then combined together. So let's go uh, to the future. Okay, so I'm back uh, just a couple days later. So you can see there's five of the main suits. Here's a few of the examples. At first I was being really careful with building them, I should say, uh, you know, making sure all the, you know, the nub marks and stuff were scraped off. And I'm like, that's more advanced stuff that you do later with these kits. And also to see that if you were, you know, a beginner and you wanted to uh, build these kits, you know, what would they look like if you just kind of threw them together as quickly as the manual says you can. And, uh, and sure enough, they look pretty good. So those are the five kits. And then here we've got one of the little booster packs. It's, uh, you know, like it looks like a little tank, but every little part can come up, can, you know, can uh, detach and can attach somewhere else. Here you have like a submarine type of uh, model. And I've got this to go along with this underwater dude here. Next, we have all these little bits here. These are little uh, probe guys, I guess. I think they, these can also replace the heads on most of these kits. You get some cool looking guns. Uh, I normally, uh, as I've always said, I don't normally uh, use the guns in my models, but um, I do keep them all, of course, because they are really cool looking. Most of them are really cool looking and they, they disassemble like that and will reassemble easily with other parts. And then I got my favorite part here, which is essentially kind of a construction model. I thought it looked like a construction type of thing where you would normally have a part like this, you can just take off, snap that into place. And then you've got literally uh, like a like a, a bucket arm. This one actually came with a few stickers, which I thought was kind of cool. Looks like a little cockpit. And then I have all these little extra, I guess you'd call them diorama parts or whatever. This one is explosion ones. So you can put little explosions next to your, next to your models or even uh, on your models, which it comes with some extra parts here. And each one of these you can use as little connectors. And here's the leftovers. I still have one more of the uh, black construction armor, which I really like that arm a lot. I have it in green. There's some of the lore if you wanna pause it. There you go. So this is all the extra junk you're gonna have, have left over after all of these kits are built. You're gonna have tons of weapons and, and guns and cool little grabbers and all sorts of stuff that you could also use in other gun, Gunpla kits. I got some stuff like this. These really cool like rocket end cap type things, little connectors. This, for example, can sit up against a guy like this and use it as a giant, like a beam weapon. What I thought would be cool is to use these as an, almost a, a ski or on the bottom of a foot instead 
So let's take a look and see if I can do anything with that. So you just take those apart like that. I wonder if you could just simply attach them to the feet. It fits basically the same way. It fits basically the same way it would on a foot. So you can have tracks like that. You can take off the other one. Hopefully the ball won't pop out. The ball will pop out. So you can just take some tweezers like this. Just pop that out. Take the other part, put it there. And now you have a dude with ski legs, kind of track legs, ski legs. So as you can see, you can basically reassemble stuff in a million different ways, um, mostly. You do have some limitations, like uh, not all shoulders here are going to be the same as, as far as their dimensions. So some parts won't uh, hook as smoothly as others. So they all have what they're calling hard points, I believe, but basically they're just and Gunpla are just little ports that you can plug in whatever you want. Every kit has a different backpack that you can pull off. So now you've got a different kind of an aquatic one. You've got ski kind of things here. You can also uh, change out heads pretty easy. You just pop them off like you would a regular Gunpla. Within no time, you're getting a completely different look. I also wanted to look a little bit more at this aquatic uh, booster pack here and simply use it on the back side of this guy because he's the aquatic guy. Oh, see, let's put it on his, his arms, actually. Let's take that off there, put the other one here. Really quickly, you can see how the whole thing can change. For example, these fins I don't really like, so you can just take them right off. Like that. I don't really like these little parts up here, but it gives you an idea. You can just start swapping things out and within no time have a completely different uh, look. Although they're meant to be swapped around and used with each kit, you know, you can use, you can pull up parts out and add parts in and all that good stuff like that. All the parts do tend to be a little bit loose, so they're not gonna be necessarily great for handling too much. Um, like a lot of Gunpla models, once you get them in place or once you get them kind of uh, designated how you want them, you're going to be able to, uh, you're gonna want to keep them kind of in that configuration for a while, but this system is really, really great for not only kind of instantly having your own type of uh, look to a kit, you can uh, do this cheaply and quickly and not really have any problems with the style looking different. For example, that one, the backpack doesn't look that odd. As a matter of fact, here, you can of course simply take that off like that. And then let's, let's put these guys on him and see what they look like. In fact, let's just pull the backpack completely off. Now, we've got that guy with, instead of his radar dish guy, we've got a kind of an aquatic looking guy. So within just a few minutes, you're already making completely unique models out of everything. Now that I have them all assembled, I'm probably gonna buy more. I've got one of each of the line. I went to my local hobby store. I haven't gone in there forever because of the pandemic and they had a ton of them and they're very, very inexpensive. You could probably spend under a hundred dollars and get five or six or seven of these with all sorts of different add-ons that um, are going to be really, really fun to mess with. So a great first model line for uh, beginner builders. I would encourage them to check them out because as you can see within no time, you're getting some really interesting looking model kits um, that even with just some basic weathering and maybe a wash and a very little flat coat or something, it's going to look like a really cool, interesting kit. So super fun line, follow me here on YouTube if you haven't uh, subscribed already and I'll be doing more uh, videos of these in the future I'm sure so have a good one everybody talk to you later bye bye